the unboxers and today we have for you an awesome action figure from Castlevania so Castlevania is it is a video game series from the 1980s um, and this is um, this is one of the, the figures actually that came off of uh, this is the main guy yes this is Trevor Belmont he's like the the hero the video game hero um, but it's actually now has been um, adapted into a uh, kind of an anime, I guess it's kind of like an anime style, um, animated series on Netflix and it says, and I think it just finished series three, or oh. season, season three. Whoa. Whoa, so. very cool. So this is part of the um, action figures, like the select series, the collector's action figures. And um, so this is the main guy. And this main guy comes with a lot of hands. A lot of hands. <laughs> and also some bonus hands. So stay tuned until we um, get him out of the box and show him to you because there's a special uh, bonus hands feature about this guy. Well, we want to say a great big thank you to Diamond Select Toys for sending him to us for free to share with you today. Um, we're going to show you all of his awesome accessories. So you want to turn around, let's see the back of the box again. Yeah, and I was going to show you, like, here's, oh. um, here's Dracula at the bottom. He is the main villain of both Ooh. the video game and the, the uh, A very series. pointed nose Dracula. Um, oh, yeah. And the box artwork looks really cool. That is very cool. So even if you, like, just didn't want to display it for certain collectors, if they just wanted to leave it in box, then it even looks it cool is. on the shelf. Yes, and um, beware, there's two more from this series, and we will be also reviewing them. So um, you'll want to know when those videos come out. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, we have uh, Cypher and Alucard. Awesome. Coming. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get Trevor out of his box and show you all of the awesome accessories and sets of hands that he comes with and show you, show you what he can do. We'll be right back. Okay, and there's Trevor out of the box. He's standing up. He's ready to explain himself. Yes. <laughs> so let's take a look, a closer look at his facial sculpt. He has some really cool hair and apparently a scar right below his eye. Most anime characters have some kind yeah, of some something kinda. like that. Yeah. He's got the anime hair. Very cool. Or the yeah, uh, I think that's video the, uh... game hair. I'm guessing it's like, I want to say that's the Belmont crest on the, oh, right here? on the back of his, oh. right I think it's the same thing on his, on the front, but on the front, yeah, here little one, there we go, and he has a couple of little throwing knives right there, mm -hmm. um, as well as, um, a thing that will hold his whip, and possibly another, um, yeah, I'm not sure weapon. what that was, I was trying to figure out or what maybe the handle for. of the whip goes in there, and then it slings across like that. We'll have to check that out, but and then he's got some storage in the back here, and he's almost got like this wrap. Um, I don't know what to call that for, um, you know, yeah, I'm not that sure style. The... But it looks pretty cool, and um, look at the fur above his boots. That yeah, he definitely really looks cool. just like he does in the um, in the series. All right, and you want to show off his points of articulation before okay. we show off his. So yeah, he's got a ton. So of course he's got the ankle. Um, it does, it'll go like forward and then he can tilt his, his leg back. That one's kind of tight so I can show you better on There you go. This one. Yeah. Um, this one's kind of cool because some of the articulation is kind of hidden. Um, like here you can see if I hold his leg still, like oh, the, yeah. um, the boot will sore but it's kind of hidden by the, the shin. Yeah. Um, he does have like the double knee joint, um, the upper thigh swivel, um, he's got the, almost the hips. It is a little um, <laughs> tight because of that. Yeah, it does. Uh, this thing does kind of limit his range of motion, but it is soft, so it can it'll stretch too. But um, so he's got those. Uh, then you have the wrist, uh, which twist and do bend some. Uh, the the elbow actually will bend and will also rotate. will rotate. Um, he has like the bicep. A twist, uh, I guess yeah. is what you call. Um, and then the shoulder is kind of a, on a ball, so it has pretty decent range, range of motion. motion. Yeah, it's not not too limited by the goal. Yeah, this is yeah. this will limit it some, limit. but uh, and then of course the the ab crunch, I guess we you call it, um, kind of gives him some pivot in the middle, 
and then of course the head. You can, it'll, his head will go down. It'll go down. Bit, yeah. Some the collar and his hair kind of limit him looking up, but then of course the side wow, to side. Oh, that's pretty smooth. Awesome. And so he has his fit, um, clenched fist on on him right now, and we'll show you some of the other ones that come with it. Looks like he is holding, oh, like throwing knives. Yeah, so these, like the, the knives that he has on his on his uh, chest here. I'm not sure what this thing would be called. but The strap across there. Now these yeah. look similar, but they're not totally similar. As you can tell, the knuckles um, right here are all the way across aligned. And this one, it's more like, um, you know, a different kind of grip. And so you have those two sets of hands. And then you have this more like relaxed, chill, yeah. or clapping hand. Yeah. <laughs> and um, for when they defeat Dracula. And um, so then you have also these expressive hands. Yeah, like dramatic hands. And yep. And uh, so they, they will uh, move as well. And then you have these where he's throwing knives. Yeah, like multiple e yeah. each hand. Almost like a Wolverine hand. Yeah. His little thumbs in there. Um, he also comes with a smaller sword, which looks really cool. Um, a larger one. Look at that. Oh, this one's a little bit tight. There we go. Ta-da. All the way. So that's a long one. He's got the little hole there so you can kind of... I'm guessing you can kind of get something and, and maybe put it around him. Right, you can wear it. He could it. probably have it on his back or something. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and even it might hang from that little... Yeah, it could. You just never know. Let's see. And it's a little... It's a little bit, okay. But yeah, anyway, it has that. this so that you can um, hang the sheath around him. Um, he has a really cool whip right here. And it's... Um, it looks like a snake. It's very mm -hmm. pliable soft um you know like rubbery plastic so that you can actually um form it on his um you can put that on his belt while i'm showing okay. the other one and then this is called um well this is this is like a what type of weapon yeah it's like a um like a morning star or a mace yeah it's got this on the end of it i'm assuming that's where the star part comes in and then you've got this great detailing right here. And I really wish, I um, it's been a while since I've seen season one, which I think is really when the one time they really mentioned it, but there, I, I think there was a name mm -hmm. for this. I know it's kind of like a, um, they found find it in his ancestral home. Very, um, very cool. But yeah, oh, it's kind of cool. like, eh, like a weapon handed down. So the he has centuries. a little thing where you can um, attach the whip there. And that's what I was wondering was like, um, the other thing, if you could attach the uh, the whip through that part, maybe not so. But um, he does have a little holster right there for something. And um, oh, let's see if I can stand up. He came with a bucket. He's got a bucket for all his hands. And there's not a hole in it. There's not a hole in the bucket, dear Eliza. And um, that's pretty cool because I mean, like that's just something. You know, off the wall, but yet he can use it. You know, he could stand on top of it mm -hmm. with one foot, or you know, like you said, keep the hands in it. I think that's a really cool accessory. Yeah, it's kind of a cool little, um, you know, add-on to just when you're displaying them. For sure. And um, okay, so now the fact about the hands, I'm gonna let um, John explain that you actually can get an extra set of hands. Yes, they um, the Diamond Select had. had uh, let me know, and this is how they come, like in a little bag. He just, they just um, mailed them to me. But these are like weapon holding actual grip hands, hands, so you right. can, actually, you know, you can see you can actually grip the sword or the whip um, with it. And um, these ended up getting left out of the the actual packaging. So if you do uh, purchase this figure, um, he just recommended you contact customer service, and they'll send you um, the hands that are not in the packaging. Okay, so you want to um, go ahead and put those on and show kind of like how he can hold his sword okay. with those because I so think So these just, it's got like a, um, you know, some kind of like a... So you can get those, the bonus hands, they'll just send them to you. Yeah, and they just push in. They just peg in. Okay. So, so there then, you go. So now then you actually have hands that, you know, you can wield... His and then, no, I mean, three of those already come with weapons in right. them, so you don't even have to add them. 
but this is just in case you want to add the swords or this. Ooh, put that in the other hand. Let's check that out. He's going to look really cool with those two items on display. And of yeah, course, this you is, could do the bigger sword. This is such a highly um, detailed and articulated figure. It is just... I just love it. Okay. okay, so there he is. He can hold on to both, and that's the beauty of um, go ahead and contacting them and getting those extra hands because he will be able to interact with some of the accessories a little bit more. Yeah. Wow, he is looking awesome. So we want to say another great big thank you to Diamond Select Toys for sending Trevor to us to, for free to share with you today. It sure has been fun trying out all of his accessories and showing him off and seeing what he looks like out of the packaging. Um, he's a very cool figure. Yeah, he is. So thank you so much for watching. Come back and see us. Subscribe, like, and we will see you next time.